Welcome back to yet another Plastic on Review. Today we're going to cover Generation 2 Protectabots, starting out with Generation 2 Blades. Here is Combiner Wars Generation 2 Blades, and obviously it's a helicopter, and everybody knows that I play with the blades on helicopters because that's what I do. It's actually really cool. This is actually a really nice rendition of Blades. Got some nice black washing going on throughout the entire bot itself to kind of draw out some of that detail and that really kind of shows to me that maybe these guys have been fighting a forest fire or something like that before they returned back to the Autobot City or something which is why they're not so clean but I do like the color scheme obviously Blades is blue and G2 along with the orange all over him which you know I can't quit doing this because you know it's a helicopter very very neat Lots of detail throughout the entire toy. Very cool. The uh, little flight stand that's going on here, that's obviously the combiner limb. It's done up in a very baby blue color with a nice black wash going on. It looks very decent. It's obviously got the uh, nice little gun here that just clamps onto the side or you can put it on the other side or I don't know, if you want to, you can stick it under here if you wanted. But it's kind of weird that a uh, rescue vehicle would actually have missiles and stuff like that. But then again, you know, this in here looks more like a police chopper to me than it does an actual rescue chopper. It does have a rub sign here with the nice G2 logo right there. Very cool. Very awesome. Anyhow, let's go ahead and go into that uh, transformation thingy, shall we? Two blades in his robot mode actually looks very very cool this is very close to what G2 blades would actually look like he's got a nice bit of light blue here on his chest along with the G2 emblem a couple little red bits here kind of picked out not to mention the uh, head sculpting that sculpting is very very cool on him I do like it a lot the black wash really brings a lot out when it comes to the detail, like I was saying. It really looks like these guys might have been fighting a forest fire before they showed up. But, it's very cool. It does have a lot of plausibility and he's a really nice looking bot. Overall, I do like him. He's very cool and adds a lot to the Protect Bot group. But, let's move on to that next member. Next member of the line is Rook. This would have probably been Groove if it was actually the motorcycle, but Rook is sharing Groove's old school scheme of the orange and blue, which really works really, really well for him. Considering Rook technically is a Decepticon, and it actually shows with his rub sign. He is a Decepticon by choice. You can see right there. It's really, really cool. I do like this color scheme. It has a ton of detail here brought out like you can see an axe right here and maybe some kind of like jaws of life things and all these kind of like gas cans and such really shows that he is like in a support vehicle it does look like an APC for like major rescues and such and possibly you know a little bit of crowd control but really neat I do like the idea he does come with this gigantic laser cannon arm thing here which does look like the jaws of life so you know it kind of works for him along with this uh, big missile rack here which you know obviously you'd be using this if Decepticon showed up anyhow taking a closer look at him he's very cool the black wash really adds a lot to him and brings it out so that way he looks very neat but anyhow let's go ahead and get in that uh, transformation thing shall we mode and 
yes, he looks very, very cool. It's kind of funny how he's sporting the uh, Autobot insignia here, considering you know, he's kind of in disguise as a Decepticon. Very neat. I do like this guy a lot. He really does add a lot to the party, considering you know all the, the black wash really just, yeah, it's just, it drags a whole lot of that detail that's really lost in him out. It looks very cool. It's got some nice details throughout the entire chest area here with a little bit of blue here, kind of just making this kind of pop just a bit from the suspension from the wheels. Just looks really, really neat. I do like this mold. This is officially my first time having this mold in hand, and I actually really do like it. I do like the idea of this gigantic chunk of a backpack. doesn't really seem like it's a pain. It looks like an actual backpack versus just something else. And kind of a funny thing out there, a lot of people probably don't know this, but if you have any little Titan Master Headmasters, they can actually sit here on the back of him, riding in the back of this. That's how tiny those are, which is kind of cool. Something I just noticed a couple days on Facebook, somebody posted something like that, so it was really neat. But anyhow, going back into him, I do like the articulation. He's got some really decent articulation, much like Hound. He works. He works very well as a member of the group. I do like him a lot. The color just completely screams Generation 2 because obviously Ice Serene Orange works. And this really, really light baby blue color just pops. But anyhow, let's move on to the next member, shall we? Next member of the line is First Aid. First Aid is now officially an ambulance very SUV looking ambulance, but he is an ambulance at that. It's got this nice axe here that can actually hook onto the side just fine, along with this big gigantic gimmick here on the back, which I would assume these are here would probably be like water cannons to help hotspot and all them put out fires. It's very neat. I do like it. The black wash really brings out a little bit of the detail that would have probably been lost, especially with this thing being completely white. A nice little light bar here and the very metallic paint for the windows it really makes it pop I do like that a lot and not to mention you know just straight up black wheels because you know ambulances don't have to be that flashy because you know that's what the lights are for right but he does have a lot of detail throughout the whole entire thing all the way throughout the back looks very cool I do like him you can obviously pull the uh, axe off and then the hand foot gun here comes right off as well. Just to show that, you know, it does have some pretty decent detail going on here. This is where it pegs in. Works very well. I do like it. Anyhow, let's move on to that uh, transformation giving, shall we? first aid in his robot mode and he works out very very well I do like the way he looks in robot mode he does have this kind of a mustardy kind of color versus an actual like goldy color although the G2 would have really had gold where all this mustard color is it does work very well I love this kind of a uh, sea greenish color going on here this is actually like a really lighter type of green considering Minasaur has an actual sea green this is not really a sea green it's, it's a more I don't know it's, it's more greenier versus the bluish you like the idea you can put the hand foot gun up here much like Trailbreaker you can put that up there and there's decent storage and it works just well I do like this guy a lot he's got a lot of decent detail and very 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 cool looking especially to go on your combiner war shelf does fit the bill that's for sure to mention the, uh, the head sculpting itself is pretty nice. I do like the detail there. Just he works. He works very well for the group. Not too much on the back here for back kittle. Even with this right here protruding a little bit, considering it's the first time I've actually really had this mold in hand. But I do like it. It's very nice. It's very cool, and I do appreciate the awesome that is first aid. So let's move on to the next guy. Moving on to the next guy of the lot is Streetwise. This is Streetwise in his 
black G2 awesomeness. This black almost has a bit of a, uh, feels like more of a metallic sheen to it. It's very glossy. Not to mention this real metallic window going on all the way across. It just looks really cool. He does have placement here for his gun and his hand foot gun. Obviously goes on top. There you go. There he is with his nice red and blue going on. Decent headlight detail and not to mention some really cool de headlight detail picked out here in the front which works very well. It does have tail lights in the back that are picked out and it works. It just works for this guy. I, I love this color. This is exactly what Streetwise would look like in G2. Not to mention the uh, G2 Autobot logo right there on his hood. It's very cool. It's very awesome. I do like this guy. He's probably my favorite version of this mold that I've ever seen. Obviously I had um, smoke screen. He looked cool, but this just does it. I don't know what it is, but this police car just looks so cool and just solid black. Exactly what Streetwise would have had. But anyhow, let's move on to that robot mode, shall we? Streetwise in his robot mode he looks very cool. It's got this nice red, white, just nah, just not the white, uh, red and blue. God, no colors, Jason. What the hell? Anyhow, take this uh, little gun here off because it obviously comes with a triple barrel rifle. It looks very neat. I do like his aesthetic. Has a little bit of black washing going on him, considering you know he's black already, but the black wash does carry over to him as well. He's got some nice uh, silver detail here picked out in his arms. Just very, very neat looking head sculpt. I've always been a big fan of his head sculpt. I like it, it's very cool. It's a very interesting head sculpt they actually picked for him. Nice big blue chest along with the, uh, looks like he's got his signals here on his feet, which is kind of cool. And, you know, obviously, same kind of backpack as the rest of them. But he does look really neat. I do like the, uh, I like the detail. The detail is, really works. And he's a very nice looking robot, for sure. Adds a lot to the group, especially considering, you know, you do have to have a police officer in the group, and this is him. So anyhow, let's move on to that last member. You know, the big guy? Moving on to the last member of the group comes Hotspot. Here's Hot Spot in his G2 colors. Very long fire truck, very red, blue, a little bit of orange, a little teeny tiny bit of light blue going on there. Just works. It just freaking works. I mean, this is what a fire truck should look like, right? Let's have this nice big rotating gimmick here on the back for the uh, ladder. And obviously, now you can knock the guns off because you know the guns just peg right in here or they peg pretty much anywhere you really want them. I mean, you can even peg them here on the side just like that. You pop these two sides here kind of loose a little bit and then you can raise this here up because you know it's a fire truck. It's what fire trucks do, right? It's very neat. I do like it because you know it's a fire truck. I'm a big fan of fire trucks. Most people know that. If they know me, they know I like fire trucks because fire trucks are cool. A lot of detail picked out throughout the entire thing. Some little bit of silver detail here around the around the door and on the handles here. Not to mention the uh, G2 rub sign right there on its top. Very neat, very cool. Got some silver rims there, kind of picked out a little bit, and a little tarnished because of the uh, the black the. Uh, black wash but the black wash actually like I said it adds a lot to it I mean this thing looks like it was out fighting fires and it's coming back to the station to get cleaned up that's exactly what it looks like it works I do like it a lot it's very cool I mean, there's not much more I can really say other than 
the crazy detail that's all picked out here on the front with the silver and then the real metallic blue windows. Anyhow, let's move on to that robot thing, right? hotspot in his robot mode he looks really magnificent like this I do like this this is just so cool seeing this firsthand in hand it's just awesome I do like how all this orange just kind of pops out of nowhere when you put him directly into robot mode the orange thighs and the orange forearms along with the orange nugget because you know he's got to have an orange head because that's it wouldn't be a hot spot if you didn't have that. It's a nice teal chest here, kind of pops out with a little bit of silver detail here and there on him. Not a lot, just enough. The backpack really works just fine. It doesn't really hamper anything. He is just a really neat looking robot, especially when he is fully transformed into this mode. Taking a look at the group as a whole, it looks really, really cool. I do like this group as an ensemble this is what g2 is all about right here it's just the awesome crazy colors and you know they just kind of fit and cohere with each other this is really weird because you know you got light blues that match with like the reds and the blues matching with blues and the black going with black and white kind of here and there just it just all fits it's really cool how this works it's just odd how he just sticks out like a sore thumb compared to everybody else but i do like it it works Anyhow, let's move on to that combination thingy, right? Here's Generation 2 Defensor in his entire complete mode. This works. This is exactly what he would have looked like back in G2, except for more modern articulation. You guys want to see the G2 review I did as full guy way back with all the G1 bots? You can go through my archives because I did one and did a redux. But anyway, he's cool. He's awesome. He is so freaking big. I love the color scheme. The color scheme is so spot on. And just 
it all works. It just completely works. It really looks menacing. It looks like an Autobot defensor. He just, he's very cool. I do like Defensor. He's very spot on. It's an awesome toy. Should go out and grab you. There you go. There's Menasaur and Defensor. Anybody out there has been wanting to see this entire like ensemble together? There you go. There. There. It's been done. Right? Okay. Finished. Ha ha. Just kidding. Anyway, if you guys want any of this cool stuff, you can check out my Facebook page. This guy is going to be up for sale. He is not. He's sold. But anyhow, this has been Plascon. This has been yet another Generation 2 review of craziness and awesome and just like crazy colors because you know all you guys need the psychedelic stuff going on. So anyway, I'll just catch you around. Peace out. Woo! G2 Defensor could be yours for $130.